I found when I was a pastor that one of the greatest challenges was just time. Um, there's so many demands on pastors, uh, whether one is a pastor uh, in a large staffed congregation or whether one is the only paid staff in a small congregation. Uh, you know, the pastor is not just a preacher, but also the counselor and the teacher and the person who visits, uh, you know, people in the hospital and at home and who um, teaches uh, confirmation in many instances and who uh, in smaller churches might be uh, the secretary as well. Uh, certainly a lot of administration uh, falls on the pastor. So to, to uh, to prioritize one's week, to prioritize one's time, to allow oneself to uh, have enough time to prepare and to study and to read, uh, to come up with a sermon, to, to, to write a sermon, uh, is, is a great challenge. Another challenge I would say would probably be uh, that lack of biblical literacy uh, in the congregation. Um, one can't assume that people know uh, things uh, about the Bible, uh, uh, know, you know, uh, who Abraham's wife was or, or uh, who's related to who or, or the chronology of the biblical history of, of Israelite history or even uh, at times to know uh, much about Paul or much about Peter or Jesus. Uh, you have to uh, often kind of fill in some details that um, that I think preachers may, you know, even 20 or 30 years ago uh, wouldn't have had to do. Now that's, it's a challenge, but it's also an opportunity, of course, uh, to, um, to, to be able to tell the biblical story more, more fully in a sermon than one might have done 30 years ago.